Wave the GPT-4 model goodbye because OpenAI has just released their new flagship model, GPT-4.0. And there are so many huge announcements with this model release, it will affect everyone who currently uses ChatGPT for the better. Now, GPT-4.0 provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but it improves on its capabilities and its speed amongst text, video, and audio. And this improvement is insane. I'm going to show you some demo videos later in this video so you can see how GPT-4.0 is changing ChatGPT forever. But one of the most important things to understand right now is this GPT-4.0 model is available to everyone, free and plus users. And free users are going to be very, very excited by this news because you get all of the capabilities that ChatGPT4 has to offer, such as web browsing, ChatGPT vision, advanced data analysis, and you even get access to the GPT store if you are a free user now and you want to utilize GPT-4.0. Now, paid users, you might be like, wait, what's going on here? Why am I still paying for ChatGPT? Well, paid users, you actually get 5x the capacity that the free users get so there is still an advantage of having the paid version of chat GPT but for free users this is absolutely insane because you automatically with this GPT 4.0 model unlock all of the features that GPT 4 has to offer such as the GPT's feature chat GPT vision and so on now OpenAI claims that they've been working super hard these past couple years on improving the strength of each model but this update in specific is the biggest leap forward in ease of use that OpenAI has ever had. But let's take a look at where GPT-4.0 improves on the model most, which is the latency between conversations. So when you're asking ChatGPT a question, especially with the voice feature, how fast it can give you an answer back in the natural tones of the voice. I mean, this new voice feature is picking up on multiple different things from tone, background noises. It can now see real time what you're talking about and what you're doing. It can pick up on sarcasm, make jokes. You can interrupt the model now. There are so many things you can do. So first, let's just hop into this quick demo video that I have on OpenAI's website. And I think this video in specific gives a very good general idea of the new improvements of this GPT-4.0 model. So this is coming straight from OpenAI's website. I'll leave a link to this article down in the description so you can check out all of these videos and all of the capabilities and all of the improvements. But I think this video gives a very good demonstration on what this new GPT-4.0 model is going to be capable of, especially using the voice feature, how quick it is. Pay attention that this person is talking to this thing real time it's picking up on things around the room and so much more uh so watch this i guarantee that you will be amazed so i'm going to start this now so we can take a listen and see what this is capable of hey how's it going it's going great how about you i see you're rocking an open ai hoodie nice choice what's up with that ceiling though are you in a cool industry style office or something well can you take a guess at what i might be doing based on what i'm showing you here From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. Notice one thing is how he can interrupt the model now when it's talking real time. Over here on the right, you can see he has a video set up. So it's like he's almost talking to ChatGPT. She noticed in this case that he was wearing an OpenAI hoodie, that he had a mic on his hoodie, the ceiling was an industrial office space. He flipped the camera around, showed his setup, and said, based on my surroundings, what might I be doing? And she said, filming a video. And he said, yes. And now they're going on about this announcement. But Notice how it can pick up on those little things like that we take for granted every single day, the tone of voice, the things around us, interruptions in speech. I mean, it's responding so quickly. That's one of the biggest improvements is the latency reduction uh, with this new model, especially in the voice feature. So let's continue. This video has a little bit longer left. What if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Okay, and also notice here the emotions that ChatGPT has in the, vo in the voice here. I'm gonna play that back because that's just amazing. When he tells ChatGPT that the announcement is about her, or in this case, ChatGPT, I'm saying her because of the girl voice, but when he announces that, she gets excited. Uh, take a listen again. Mm -hmm. 
me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a sort of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my... Well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? And see that, she's also making jokes too. ChatGPT is now making jokes to this guy, saying that this announcement has got me on the edge of my seat, and then it stopped itself and said, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the point. So it's having very natural, human-like conversation, and this is going to make it very easy to use, especially when it comes to things like language learning, tutoring, uh, things like fixing things. If you have your camera and you say, I'm not, and you're talking to ChatGPT, right? You're saying, I'm not really sure how to fix this over here, or I'm not really sure how to do this math problem. This is going to be amazing for tutoring. So we can finish out this video. It only has about five seconds left. I uh, will just hit play and we can finish that out. Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But GPT-40, quite amazing on how quickly it can pick up on things, how quickly it can respond. You can interrupt the model anytime you want and say, whoa, 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 don't do that, do this. Now, there's some other examples that I want to show you, but first, I just kind of want to get into the improvements, how important this is, and what is this going to actually mean for the future and for people who use ChatGPT in the future. Well, I want you to keep in mind that before GPT-40, it took the model about two to three seconds. If you were in bad connection, sometimes even 10 seconds to respond uh, when you were using the voice feature, but now it responds instantly because all of these things, the text, the voice, the audio, the video, with GPT-40, these things are all happening natively. So it's reasoning with the text, the voice, and the vision all at once. And the amazing thing about this model is they are bringing it and making it available to everyone. As I said, that's one of the most important things about this is it's democratizing the capabilities of ChatGPT. Now on this article that I shared with you in the description, there are multiple different videos demonstrating the capabilities, but this one I really wanted to show you with the interview prep because I thought it was very powerful on how it picks up on things and how it can kind of make jokes and just talk to you real time. So I just wanted to play this one real quick. It's a minute long and this is going to open your eyes to the capabilities of this GPT-40 model much more than it already has if you aren't already amazed. So let's take a look at this. Hey, hey how's, how's it going? going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm, I'm awesome. awesome. Listen, Listen, I got, I got some, some huge, huge news. news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's, well, it's for, for a software, software engineering role, role but I just, I just need, need to know, know do, do I look presentable, presentable professional? professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just... Run a hand through your hair or lean into the bad cheese vibe. Your well, enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't, I don't have a lot of time, time so, so I'm just, just going to throw, throw this, this on. on. What, what do you do think? You think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. Though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it. I got it. So that's just insane. It's making jokes, it's responding, it's laughing. It seems like this is becoming to a point where it has emotions and it can pick up on things like sarcasm. And it seems to me that the Dali side of things or the actual image generation capabilities have vastly improved when utilizing this in the new GPT-4 O model. I wanna run you through a couple of examples that OpenAI has done when exploring the capabilities of an input to an output within ChatGPT. So let's get into it. I'm going to first select poetic typography as an exploration of capabilities. And this is just amazing how it can do this now. I don't remember it ever being this good at generating text to picture. We are just scratching the surface because this has barely been out for long enough to where we have explored the full capabilities. So as you can see, the input gives a poem right here and then the action command is a poem written in clear but excited handwriting in a diary the text is large legible and clear but stretches as the right muses about sight and sound 
And then as you can see, it has this text that looks very, very human-like. And it couldn't do this before. It was not this capable of producing stuff this good in this cursive, sloppy handwriting. It looks very believable and very, very real. Now we can take a look at other examples of their capabilities using some of these new enhancements to their existing features. So one that I think is really going to be powerful is this one right here, the uh, meeting notes with multiple speakers. So what the input was here is an uploaded one minute file of some meeting notes. And this was just an audio file, so I can play that really quick. Okay, good morning. Here's our first good team meeting. meeting. Morning. Good morning. I'll be your project manager. So they're just kind of going out and it's a little bit of a meeting. There's multiple different speakers and the input is how many speakers in this audio and what happened. And it gives an output of there are four speakers in this audio. It sounds like a project meeting. And then it gives a transcription based on the input. So it says, can you transcribe it with speaker names? And the output is the entire transcription of the audio. And just the images have gotten so much better. This is a really cool example that I thought was going to be revolutionary for designers as well, the concrete poetry example. So the input was the OpenAI logo and they attached the logo of OpenAI. And then the input here was a concrete poem in the outer shape of the OpenAI logo composed of the word Omni. And as you can see, they made that concrete poem in the outer shape of the OpenAI logo with that word that they wanted. And they're doing it in a dark mode with rainbow text. It's getting very specific with the image generation capabilities and also the auditory capabilities where they can actually hear different voices, the background noise, sarcasm, jokes. It's becoming much more advanced, a lot less latency and a lot quicker. Now, when is this becoming available to people? And when can we actually start using the voice feature, the very sought after voice feature, which everyone is loving right now, uh, based on the demo videos at least? Well, that is going to be their next step. Right now, the GPT-40's text and image capabilities are starting to roll out today as we speak. And they're saying we are making GPT-40 available in the free tier and to plus users with up to five times higher message limits. And it says, we will roll out a new version of voice mode with GPT-40 and alpha within ChatGPT Plus in the coming weeks. So in the coming weeks, we're going to have all of these capabilities with the voice mode, the real-time interaction, the zero latency, the ability to interrupt and communicate. But in the meantime, free users now have access to GPT-4 capabilities, advanced data analysis, which was previously called the code interpreter feature, chat GPT vision, you also have web browsing, and you have access to the GPT store, which is amazing if you're a free user. I'm sure that's very exciting. And developers can actually access GPT-4 in the API as a plain text and vision model. GPT-40 is two times faster, half the price, and has a five times higher rate limit compared to GPT-4 Turbo. So if you're a developer, you're probably celebrating right now. That is amazing savings and much improved capabilities. Now, there are tons of different demo videos that I could show you. You, but I will leave this in the description for you to check out. I highly recommend watching all of these because there's an example here where this guy has two AIs talking to each other. He has one chat GPT talking to another chat GPT. And based on memory, these GPTs have a conversation about what's going on around them. And it's like the AI are communicating with each other in this example, which is quite amazing. I highly recommend you check that out. There's also another example in here for language learning. Uh, right here where they're actually showing the chat bot the items around them and they're saying they're trying to learn Spanish. What's this item called? They point their camera at the item and it says it in Spanish. So this is going to be absolutely huge for language learning and just being able to get personalized recommendations and opinions on real-time things that are happening around you. It's going to be quite amazing, and I'm going to make plenty of videos on this GPT-40 model in the future. But I hope this gets you excited. And if it does, then I highly recommend not only joining my ChatGPT Mastery course, which I will be covering all of these features more in depth in the near future, but also uh, join the waitlist to my AI community where we're also going to be covering this uh, very in-depth. Now, this is something that we've been building for a couple months now, so it's very exciting. So I highly recommend you go check those two things out. But with that being said, the GPT-40 model is one of the biggest updates that OpenAI has had since GPT-4. And it's amazing because it democratizes the features of ChatGPT. 
the plus version to everyone. So it's very cool. Now this one's a lot to take in. I will be making more videos on this in the future. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with the new updates and be in the know about artificial intelligence. That's what we're doing here at AI Foundations. All right, with that being said, please drop a comment letting me know your thoughts and a like on this video. And I'll see you in the next one.